I'm going to cut up one courgette to go with this because then. you get involved in the slow food movement? What really sort of inspired you to, to really take it on board? Um, because I, I loved the idea that, you know, that your life could change so much by... When I was telling you earlier that I left um, the restaurant to work yes. in the markets, my life changed so much, not because of my bank balance change, but just the fact that I actually changed the way I was shopping, changed the way I was living in general. And the whole um, thing inspired you? Sorry? The whole, the whole it did. The sort of natural progression of doing that inspired It did, you. and what I, what I loved about it had nothing got to do with, you know, your... Your status in life it got right. to do with you know the way you shop the way you eat the time you take for yourself the fact that at six o'clock you all sit down to dinner and have dinner just a no generally nice way to live yeah absolutely. and is there a shunning of, of fast food from from the younger generation within these um within these regions within the regions well that's yeah. the reason why actually slow food was actually set up in the first place um was because the fact that there was an people felt that the younger generation were yeah. actually living very fast, so yeah. they set up this organisation to try to educate the younger people. I think it's, it's very easy for them to sort of get get caught up in the way of life, and food just becomes a necessity as opposed to something absolutely. they enjoy. Absolutely. Can I ask you to look after me, Crusher? Certainly. Now this is what it looks like now. It smells good. Isn't it delicious? It smells good. Now I would serve this with polenta. Mm -hmm. Or with courgettes, because courgettes are in season at the moment. How would you do your polenta? Would you wet polenta or grilled? Wet polenta. Absolutely delicious with this. Yeah. Or whatever vegetables in season. Yeah, they're done. They only take two minutes. We don't want to overcook them. No. And a little bit al dente would be lovely. Okay. So they're flash in the pan, Over olive here. oil, salt and pepper. Perfect. All right. Yeah, something really light with this. Looks what beautiful. Else? Looks beautiful. <laughs> nice one. Right. Okay. It smells it does. great. Okay, so this is, this is slow food to you? It, this is slow food to me because thing. it's just a simple ingredient that anybody could cook uh -huh. it. It's not intimidating at all. Mm. That's delicious. Great. That's mm. incredible. Good, rich. isn't it? Big and rich. That's really. obviously the wine. Mm. Mm. Really, really nice. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, nice with this. So th this was it. It was just garlic, the, the good red wine, a bit of thyme, salt and pepper. That was it, salt and pepper, it. a little bit of olive oil, that's mm. it. And of course the wine, the barbaresco yeah. wine. To make Clodagh's slow-cooked beef in Barbaresco, get a good quality shin of beef from your butcher. For the sauce, pick up a bottle of Barbaresco wine, some garlic and thyme and a few courgettes to pan-fry and serve with the beef. 